In the rightmost column, there are numbers 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, 13, 21, and so on. So if we denote the first term 1 to be f0, that means the total number of pairs of rabbits at the start. It is 1. And then we denote f1 to be the total number of pairs of rabbits after one month. It is 1 as well. Then we notice that f2, the total number of pairs of rabbits after two months, it is f1 plus f0, which is 1 plus 1, which is 2. We also notice that f3, which is the total number of pairs of rabbits after three months, which is f2 plus f1, which is 2 plus 1 is 3. If we denote f4 to be the total number of pairs of rabbits after four months, it would be f3 plus f2, which is 3 plus 2, and it is 5. So this process will continue. If you would like to know that the total number of pairs of rabbits after 13 months, meaning that we would like to find f13, then it is f12 plus f11, which is 233 plus 144, which is 377, meaning that there are 377 pairs of rabbits after 13 months. So try to generalize what we have written down here, and then we notice that f m plus 2 is equal to f m plus 1 plus f n, when n is greater than 0. And then with these two initial conditions, meaning that if we have f0, f1, then we know f2. If we have f1 and f2, then we will know f3. If we have f2 and f3, then you will know f4, and so on. So this equation actually generalizes what is going on in this vertical column. It is not obvious indeed. The reason is the total number of pairs of rabbits in the next two months would be the sum of the total number of pairs of rabbits in the previous two months. It does not sound very obvious, right? So why is it like this? So we may need to go back to your original table that one may need to notice that the number of pairs of baby rabbits, when they add the number of pairs of mature rabbits, they would be the total number of pairs of rabbits here. So this should be obvious to everyone. Maybe I put down like here. So in the m plus 2 month, all right, then the total number of babies, all right, in the m plus 2 months plus the total, uh, maybe I call them adult rabbit in this m plus 2 months, then would be what we call the f m plus 2, which uh, denoted here, right? So the problem is, so you notice that, you know that 8 plus 13 is this 21, right? So this is kind of obvious because that total would be the baby plus the mature. But then the question is why this 13 is the same as that f m plus 1. So here, that 13, which means the number of pair of mature rabbits, they are coming from this 5 and this 8, adding up together. This 5 is the num total number of, sorry, the number of pairs of baby rabbits in the previous month. And in this month, all of them are going to be matured. And this 8 are the number of matured rabbits, number of pairs of mature rabbits. They have, they have already matured, meaning that in, they're not going back to babies, so they will also be matured in this month. So, 5 plus 8, which is 13, the total number of number of pairs of rabbits in the previous month, they are going to be the total number of the number of pairs of mature rabbits in this month. So meaning that this F M M plus 1, no matter whether they are babies or mature, in the next month they will be mature. All of them will be mature. So this mature rap this number of pairs of mature rabbits, they are all coming from f m plus 1. They are all coming from the total number of the rabbits in the previous months because no matter what they are, they would all become mature, right? So that is why we have something like this. Alright, 
And then where does this baby came from? So right now, we go back to this eight, all right? So this eight means that we have eight pairs of baby rabbits. And where does it eight pairs of baby rabbit coming from? They are from the pairs of mature rabbits in the previous months. So this eight pairs of mature rabbits are ready to give birth to this eight pairs of baby rabbits. That is why you got this eight. So you notice that this babies in the N plus two months, they are actually the adults in the N plus one month, right? And then where does the adults in the N plus one month coming from? So the principle is the same. So that eight is actually coming from here because in the previous month, no matter what they are, no matter they're baby or mature, and this month they would all become mature, right? So this A and minus one, meaning that all the adults in the M plus one, sorry, adults in the M plus one month, they were they are all coming from the total number of rabbits in this month, right? So that is why we got That is why we got this equation. And this equation would be important to have n greater than or equal to zero because we start at uh, n to be zero as the start. And then we also need initial conditions for this equation.